The French are renowned for their rich aviation history, and during World War II, they fielded several aircraft that filled them with pride and became symbols of their determination and resilience. These planes, forged amidst the chaos and uncertainty of war, played a crucial role in defending French skies and contributing to the Allied cause. As the war engulfed Europe, France found itself under the shadow of the menacing German war machine. However, French engineers and pilots refused to yield, and their ingenuity gave birth to remarkable aircraft that would leave an indelible mark on history. These planes, often born from limited resources and against overwhelming odds, showcased the exceptional talent and unwavering spirit of the French aviation industry. Amidst the chaos of World War II, the French Air Force played a vital and heroic role in shaping the course of history. Join us as we delve into the remarkable stories of the most important French planes of World War II. D. Whiteen, D520, the Guardian of French Skies. The French de Whiteen, D520, was a remarkable fighter aircraft that played a significant role during World War II, showcasing exceptional engineering and combat capabilities. Developed by the de Voitine Aircraft Company, it was intended to be a formidable opponent to the German Luftwaffe. Its sleek design, powerful engine, and incorporation of advanced technology made it a symbol of French innovation and determination in the face of adversity. Equipped with a Hispano Suiza 12Y engine, the D520 possessed impressive speed, climb rate, and maneuverability. Its streamlined fuselage and low wing configuration further enhanced its aerodynamic performance. The D520's armament consisted of cannons and machine guns, providing a formidable offensive capability against enemy aircraft. When it entered service in 1940, the D520 faced the daunting task of defending French skies against German forces. Despite the overwhelming odds, it proved its worth in combat engagements, showcasing exceptional performance during the Battle of France. The D520's agility, responsiveness, and advanced design allowed pilots to outmaneuver and outgun their adversaries, instilling confidence and control in the unforgiving environment of aerial combat. During the Battle of Britain, a handful of French pilots exiled from their homeland joined the Royal Air Force RAF, in defending British airspace. Flying the D520, they fought valiantly alongside their British counterparts, contributing to the eventual victory over the Luftwaffe. Despite its impressive performance, the D520 faced challenges due to limited production capacity and resource availability during the war. The rapid advance of German forces and the fall of France in 1940 resulted in a shortened period of active service for the aircraft. However, the legacy of the Diwatine D520 lives on. Its technological advancements and combat successes served as a foundation for subsequent French fighter designs, shaping the evolution of French aviation and contributing to the overall advancement of fighter aircraft worldwide. Its sleek design, exceptional performance and pivotal role in World War II continue to captivate aviation enthusiasts, reminding us of the courage and skill of the pilots who flew this remarkable aircraft. The Bloch MB-152, a French fighter with a vital role. In the annals of World War II aviation, the Block MB-152 fighter plane stands as a testament to French ingenuity and determination. Breaking the established norms, the MB-152 earned its place in history without a full-scale prototype, captivating officials within the French Air Force as the war loomed closer. Several variants were subsequently developed, each playing a crucial role in critical operations throughout the European theatre. In the late 1930s, the French aircraft manufacturer Société des Avions Marcel Bloch introduced the Bloch MB-152 as a new single-engine fighter to bolster the nation's air defence. Drawing from their expertise in previous aircraft designs, the company promised a capable successor to the popular MB-150 and MB-151 models. The MB-152 demonstrated promising results during its initial flight trials in September 1938, prompting the authorities to proceed with an order for a limited production run. The decision was made just in time, as World War II erupted in September 1939. The Block MB-152 emerged as a formidable fighter aircraft, armed with a 20mm cannon firing through the engine hub and four machine guns mounted in the wings. With a maximum speed of 500 km per hour, 
and a range of 1,000 kilometers, the MB-152 possessed an impressive combination of firepower, speed, and endurance. Once the war was in full swing, the MB-152 proved its mettle on various fronts. The aircraft excelled in air superiority missions, intercepting enemy bombers and engaging in dogfights against German Luftwaffe fighters. During the Battle of France in 1940, French pilots valiantly flew the MB-152 against overwhelming odds, engaging German forces in fierce aerial combat. While the French ultimately succumbed to the invading forces, the MB-152 fighters fought with unmatched valour. Following the French surrender, the MB-152 continued its service under the Vichy French regime and the Free French forces, playing a significant role in North Africa and the Mediterranean. Pilots flew the MB-152 in vital missions, escorting bombers, protecting vital supply lines, and engaging enemy fighters. Potez 630 – The Versatile Workhorse The Potez 630 was a versatile aircraft that served multiple roles during World War II. Originally designed as a reconnaissance plane, it later took on roles as a light bomber and ground attack aircraft. Spearheaded by the visionary aircraft designer Marcel Bloch, later known as Marcel Dassault, the Potez 630 aimed to combine exceptional speed, maneuverability and firepower into a single airframe. The design team worked tirelessly to integrate cutting-edge technologies and refine the aerodynamic efficiency of the aircraft. The Potez 63 possessed a distinctive twin boom design and was equipped with forward-firing guns, machine guns and bomb racks. Its adaptability and reliability made it an important asset for the French Air Force. Although it was not a top-performing aircraft, the Potez 630 played a significant part in reconnaissance missions and ground support operations. Its pilots showcased their versatility and skill, adapting to different missions and contributing to the overall war effort. As the clouds of war loomed over Europe, the Potez 630 took flight. It made its combat debut during the early stages of World War II, showcasing its exceptional performance and earning the admiration of both pilots and ground crews. With its sleek silhouette streaking across the skies, the Potez 630 became a symbol of French innovation and determination. However, despite its undeniable potential, the Potez 630 faced several challenges that ultimately hindered its widespread adoption. Production delays, limited availability of resources, and evolving military priorities imposed constraints on the aircraft's production and deployment. The exigencies of war shifted the focus towards other aircraft designs, and the Potez 630 found itself overshadowed by competing models. Nonetheless, the legacy of the Potez 630 endures as a testament to the audacity of its creators and the advancements it brought to the realm of combat aviation. Although it did not claim the widespread recognition it deserved, its impact and influence cannot be overlooked. The Potez 630 paved the way for future developments in aircraft design and served as an inspiration for subsequent generations of fighter aircraft. Arsenal VG-33 – The Forgotten Hero The Arsenal VG-33, a French fighter aircraft, emerged amidst the chaos of World War II, defying conventional norms and making its mark in history. Born from the expertise of the Arsenal de l'Aeronautique, the VG-33 was envisioned as a cutting-edge fighter plane for the French Air Force. The company drew upon its prior experience in aircraft design to create a formidable successor to the aging arsenal of fighters. Although the VG-33 was poised to surpass its predecessors, such as the Duatine D-520, its path to recognition was not without its share of challenges. To validate its design, Arsenal de l'Aeronautique crafted a scaled-down model, the VG-32, which allowed them to test the aircraft's layout and performance. Despite the conventional expectation of a full-scale prototype, the French Air Force recognized the potential of the VG-33 and bypassed the customary requirement. In a bold move, they awarded a production contract for the VG-33, acknowledging the urgency of the war and the aircraft's capabilities. The VG-33 possessed a sleek and streamlined design, incorporating the latest advancements in aeronautics. It featured a powerful engine and boasted impressive maneuverability, enabling it to engage in dogfights with adversary aircraft. Armed with a combination of machine guns and cannons, the VG-33 held its ground against formidable opponents. 
As World War II raged on, the VG-33 faced its ultimate test on the battlefield. It became a stalwart defender of the French skies, engaging in intense aerial combat against the encroaching Axis powers. The aircraft's exceptional performance and agility were demonstrated in numerous air battles, where it skillfully outmaneuvered enemy fighters and protected French airspace. Despite the airplane's capabilities, France couldn't put them fast enough into mass production, and at this point the odds were already stacked against the French forces. The overwhelming might of the Axis powers eventually led to France's defeat. Many of these remarkable aircraft were lost during the tumultuous days of the French campaign. Today, only a handful of surviving VG-33 aircraft serve as a testament to the courage and resilience of the French pilots who flew them. Their legacy lives on, reminding us of the indomitable spirit that soared through the skies during one of history's most challenging periods. Amiot 143 the Unyielding Bomber In the realm of strategic bombing, the Amiot 143 played a crucial role in the French Air Force's operations. Built as a twin-engine bomber, the Amiot 143 was designed to strike deep into enemy territory, delivering its payload with precision and accuracy. The high wing and fixed undercarriage of the Amiot 143 were identical to those of the Amiot 140, and the wing was thick enough to allow crew access to the engines through a tunnel between the wing spars. The Navigator Bombardier, who also had access to flight controls, sat in the heavily glassed gondola below the pilot, in an enclosed cockpit level with the leading edge of the wing. Early aircraft had a radio operator who sat toward the back of the gondola and controlled two 7.7mm Lewis cannons. While not as glamorous or celebrated as its fighter counterparts, the Amiot 143 provided essential support to ground troops and disrupted enemy supply lines. Its robust construction and defensive armament allowed it to withstand enemy fire and successfully complete its missions. France had some remarkable aircrafts that showcased French ingenuity, resilience and determination in the face of adversity. These planes and the pilots who flew them deserve recognition for their contributions to the war effort and for their role in shaping the history of aviation. Tell us what plane you think was the best in World War II in the comments below.